Hi buddy, are you currently VNGO shareholder and you're wondering if you did a right choice? Or are you currently considering investing in VNGO stocks? If your answer is yes to any of the above question, you're in the right place. In this video, you will discover how BNGO makes money. And number two, the hidden secret of BNGO that you need to know. And number three, is it a good time to buy right now? And number four, what is my personal action and opinion regarding this stock? So let's go. Let's start with how BNGO makes money. Based on the annual report, it mentioned that they providing tools and services based on their system, which is sulfur or something, okay, to scientists and clinicians conducting genetic research and patient testing. So they are basically selling some machine or selling some products. They are able to help patient in hospital and etc. So we developed the sulfur system, a platform for ultra sensitive and ultra specific structural variation detection that enable researchers and clinicians to accelerate the search for new diagnosis, diagnostics. <laughs> okay, so our commercial offering includes sulfur system. So it keep mentioning, mentioning about this sulfur system. I believe that this is their own patented or their own unique system that they have. From this, we can understand that BNGO customers includes researchers and clinicians who seek to uncover and understand the biology or clinical impact of genome variation. So basically, their general customers are not people like you and I. Their customers basically are researchers and clinicians. And that is why we most of us might not have experience or might not have uh, too much contact with their real life products and services as of now so to just confirm about how they actually make money i actually zoom in further and understand they mentioned that we generate product revenue from the sales of instruments and consumable that means we quite confirm that they are selling some machineries and we currently sell our products for research use only applications and our customers are primarily laboratories associated with academic and governmental research institution as well as pharmaceutical biotechnology and contract research companies so basically they are business that deal with b2b that means business to business dealing they also receive revenue that consists of warranty and other service based revenue however from here we can understand that most of their revenue come from product sales over here so next, let me share with you some hidden secrets of BNGO that I found out that you must know. Firstly, let's take a look at their revenue. From 2016 to 2019, their revenue is quite inconsistent, has been increasing and decreased again. Next, let's take a look at net income, the net profit. Do they have any profit in the first place? So from what we know, from 2016 till now, they have been consistently uh, making losses as of now. Next, let's look at their earnings per share. From here, we can understand that the earnings per share is actually not bad, yeah? Has been decreasing and right now has been increasing. Not bad. However, there is some crucial thing that I want you to take note of, which is shares outstanding. The number of shares has been increasing, the outstanding shares, which is not a good thing. This is a red flag that we have to take note because the company, the management has been issuing out shares and this brought to a lot of dilution to current shareholder. Based on analyst report, it mentioned that shareholders have been subs substantially diluted in the past year with total shares outstanding growing at 580% and this is a very big red flag. Let's take a look at free cash flow. Given a choice, we definitely want to invest in a company that can stay afloat with positive cash flow. However, BNGO based on the past few years, the free cash flow has been negative. That means they actually have issue or they have actually have problems staying afloat. Imagine your bank account has been negative throughout the past few years. Is it scary? Yes. So what is share dilution and why you must know this? Let me share with you this one example to help you understand better. For example, BNGO has been making $100 net profit per year and BNGO have two shares two outstanding shares. So this means that each shares will be $50 each, $50 uh, 
earnings per share because 100 divided by two shares is $50 each. And next year, because it need more funding, it need more capital as their cash flow has been negative. So example, if next year it issue more shares, which is more than 200% increase in shares, and assuming BNGO is still making the same amount, $100 each, and let's say issue eight more shares, so total will be 10 shares. So what will happen? It will $100 divided by 10 shares, each shares will only have $10 earnings per share. So if you are current shareholder, your earnings per share is $50, decrease to $10 each. How do you feel as a current shareholder? Will you feel happy about it or will you be mad about it? Obviously, you'll be mad about it. Imagine in the past, you can have the whole cake by yourself and one year later, your cake become one quarter of size and next year, your cake become just one slice of the cake. How do you feel? Of course, if we choose to think about share dilution in a positive way, BNGO is able to raise capital and use the capital to expand the business or maybe raise the capital to acquire more businesses to improve the business. Is it possible? Of course, it is possible. However, you as shareholder or potential shareholder, you have to know about the danger and the red flag regarding share dilution. Yeah? Next, let me share with you the ownership of BNGO. Currently, based on my research, 9% of BNGO is owned by institution and almost 90% of BNGO is owned by public, which is retail investor just like you and me or any other people on the street. In my opinion, when a company is 90% owned by retail investor, the stock price will be super volatile because we all understand that retail investor usually have a short term mindset. They will buy today and maybe sell one month later or they will buy today and sell two weeks later. However, institutional investors or maybe the big funds, usually they will hold for long term, maybe six months or even six years. The golden question is, is it a good time to buy now based on my personal opinion? I did a check regarding valuation, price to sales, because currently there isn't any price to earnings as BNGO has been consistently uh, not making money yet. So let's take a look at price to sales of BNGO. And based on this, the current price to sales is 68. And in my opinion, this is way too expensive based on the current price. So lastly, what is my personal action and opinion regarding BNGO? I want to be very upfront with you that my background is not in any medical line or did I deal with any researchers in the lab or whatsoever. So after researching about BNGO, this business model is quite foreign to me and it's not something I really understand 100%. Moreover, after researching about the financial statement, and this is something that made myself very uncomfortable. And the most shocking thing to me is that the management of BNGO has been diluting current shareholders. And this makes me very uncomfortable if I really want to invest in BNGO itself. And I'm going to share with you this quote by Peter Lynch. It mentioned that never invest in any idea you can't illustrate with a crayon. And Warren Buffett mentioned about risk come from not knowing what you're doing. So in my opinion, because I do not understand BNGO well, I do not understand the industry well. So in my opinion, it is very risky. And that is why I'm skipping these stocks. However, if you understand about BNGO business or you are currently in any medical industry, do comment down below to share with us what are your thoughts about BNGO so that we can all grow as an investor together. The reason I'm sharing all this information and this video with you is so that you have different perspectives and opinions towards BNGO stocks so that you can make a wiser decision for yourself. Do subscribe to this channel so that I am able to share more insights with you and we can make money from the stock market together. I will see you in the next video over here.